Hey guys, Captain CA here for Flats Class YouTube. Today, I've got a great snook fishing tip. Well, let's call it a hack. I've got a great snook fishing hack for you. In fact, once you see it, you're gonna think, why don't I do this all the time? But when you've gotta put the heat on snook and really get them to the boat, I mean, when you're focusing, targeting snook, this one trick will be a big game changer for you. While I go get the rod set up over there, I want you to go check out some of my friends, my clients, catching snook, and I'll be right back. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. That was at the boat. I love it. That's a nice snook too. Yeah, it's a good one. Again, why that step down leader is the way to go. But this is the species that will feed the best. Take your time. You got the hook on the outside of the mouth. Anytime you see the bait outside the mouth, We're good. you're good. Because he's that's what we call he's on the nail. You bring him in, just bring his head right to me and then I'll up high. There we go. So he's a he's a representative snook of what we have here on this coast. Right in the corner there, it's a good spot for him. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. We get to pick with you real quick for sure. Damn, you're so big, you make them all look little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> nice, pretty shot there, kind of different. All right. And I will release them. I will release lower them to the water. Huh? We'll release them so someone else can catch them. Beauty, man. That's that was worth the whole story. Oh, he'll go. I always put him in tail first. That's yeah. what it's all about right there. That's what it's all about making clients happy and look at these two pictures right here do they look happy perry's happy seth and dana are happy everybody's happy the guide is happy now this time of year early summer late spring early summer we start tarpon fishing but a lot of days are still pretty breezy and when you start getting those west winds it kind of gives you the opportunity to like hey not gonna be able to do this today. Let's run inside the barrier islands and start looking for some snook along the bush line. One of the complications to this time of year is the fact that the tide heights are generally higher. Now I fish the west coast of Florida. That's where I guide. So when you have a west wind, you've got higher than normal tides. So when you get up there, you're looking at those fish. Most of them are tucked up underneath the tree line. So you're gonna have to make pinpoint casts is close as close to the bush line as you can. That's very difficult to do with traditional snook tackle for snook fishing. The type of tackle that you would have for fishing bridges, jetties, heavy docks, where you're gonna have much heavier outfits. You're basically gonna use flats fishing outfits. 
3,000 size reels and medium, maybe medium heavy um, rods in the seven foot lineup. So I'm gonna take one here for instance uh, that I had Perry throwing quite a bit. And this setup here, this is a Shimano Talavera inshore rod very inexpensive. I've got it with a Spiros. This is a 3000 size reel. I locked the drag down so it's hard to pull the drag out. Um, this is 10 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 and I have four feet a liter. Now the trick to the liter, this is the hack that I was telling you about. This is a snook fishing tip. You need a long leader because the water where I fish happens to be crystal clear. So I've got 10 pound braid, so I need a very small knot. So I tie a modified Albright to 20 pound fluor fluorocarbon, and you can see how small that knot is. That is a small knot, okay? Modified Albright, you can learn that on Gene Fishing TV. I've got three feet of this. It's a, it's a good section. And then, this is the hack. I blood knot a piece of 40. So this is a piece of 40 pound fluorocarbon leader which goes directly to the jig, okay? So I've got a 12 inches of that 40. That 40 is key, that's my bite tippet. It's what we typically call in the guide business, a step down leader. Now, if you enjoy fly fishing, you're used to using step down leaders because that's how you be build your leader system basically to get the fly to turn over. In light tackle, a lot of guys just wanna say, well, why don't I just tie 40? all the way to my braid. Well, the problem with that is if you tie the 40 all the way to the braid, you've got a giant knot. Now you gotta reel that through the guides. You reel that through the guides enough times and cast it violently out to try to get a skip cast or a long cast, you're gonna knock the inserts out of your guides. So it's not a good idea. So the step down leader is perfect. You've got your bite tippet. It's hard to lose the daytime size snook that you're tangling with, which are typically anywhere from 25 inches to 35 inches on a piece of 40. It really is tough to lose those fish. You can, you can have a lot of success with that little hack right there. If you, you find yourself where you've got some redfish and things like that, and you think you can catch them with a smaller lure and you want to step down, I even do it for these drop down setups. Um, this is a very lightweight medium action rod. Uh, I've got a Texas rig so that we can skip a diesel minnow up underneath the trees. And I've done the exact same thing with the leader system on this Shimano setup. I've got three feet of 20, modified all bright to the braid. And then I've got a small blood knot right here with that little piece that connects that. That way I can skip it in there, get a fish and haul him out. That's it. That is the tip. And that is what keeps my clients successful because there are many days where you only get a couple of bites and you got to make them count. You do not want to have that sad story. Well, they broke me off. They chafed through their leader because I lock those, those drags down when we bush fish. I call it bush fishing, gorilla fishing. You do that, you got to have some leader material that's going to hold up to the test of time. Okay, like I always say, if you like what you're seeing here, give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe. We want you to be a better inshore angler. It's my job to get you there. Till next time, Captain C.A. Richardson signing off. I'm getting ready to go to Little Gasparilla Island for the weekend, do some real snook fishing.